Okay. And up next, let's set up a proper list. And essentially what I mean by that is iterating over the books array. And then for every item, eventually we'll return a component. So let's start by just navigating back to index.js. And we want to remove everything that has to do with names. Of course, you can keep it for your reference. Just keep in mind that it's already available in a readme. So it doesn't really matter. So again, let me go back to empty book list. And like I mentioned in the previous video, if you want to set up a new variable and then render it in the book list, totally okay option. In my case, I'm going to do it right away in the book list. Effectively, I'll iterate over and return that new array. So we want to start here with books, then map. And again, we pass in the callback function. So yes, you'll see the syntax over and over and over and over again. And to tell you honestly, fetching data and rendering it on a screen is going to be your bread and butter when it comes to React applications. It's hard for me to imagine a project where you won't be doing at least one of them. So yes, this is the syntax you'll see over and over and over again. And don't worry, the more times you'll write this, the more familiar you'll be with the entire setup. So again, we have this callback function here, and we just need to decide what we want to return. Because remember, when it comes to functions, by default, they return undefined, correct? So yes, explicitly, we need to set up a return. And for now, let's just go here, return, and then div. And just so you can see that pretty much everything works, even if we don't access values from the array. Let me just go here with heading one or heading two, whatever, doesn't really matter. And let's just say item here. And you'll notice that actually everything works. So I have those items on the screen. Why? Well, because I have an array with two items, we are iterating over here. And then for every item, this is what we return. So technically, we don't need to even access it. Now, it kind of makes sense, right? Since we're iterating over the list, we want to access those values, but technically, we don't have to. And now let's grab here this book. So this is what I'm going to do with my parameter. I'm going to name this a book. Just please keep in mind, we cannot pass it directly. So if I go here with book, and I'll do the same thing, I'll say book, I'll get the same error. Again, objects are not valid as a React child. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to pull out the properties. So we can either destructure them, or we can simply go book dot title. And the reason why I logged it because I want you to see that we're iterating over and pretty much we're getting each object. So yes, if you have 200 of them, you'll have 200 logs, you'll access 200 items. And now effectively, we simply want to, like I said, access the property. Now, eventually, of course, I will structure it and all that. For now, I just want to showcase that if I go here with title, I'll have title in my heading twos. If I'll go with author, I'll get an author. Now, for the image, of course, it's going to make sense if I set it up in different element, but hopefully you see where I'm going with this. What's next? Well, even though we can nicely return HTML elements, directly in our callback function. Let's also remember that we still have this book component. So why don't we put two and two together? So we have a book component that already has the HTML. And it's simply looking for these three things, image, title, and author. So if we go back to our callback function, and if we return book and pass in the values, it should work. Correct? So let's try it out. I'm going to go back to my return. I'm going to write here book. So I'm rendering now the book component. And for now, let's just pass them one by one. In the following videos, I'll show you how we can pass the entire object as well as how we can spread out the properties, which is my favorite way of passing in the props. But for now, Let's just go one by one. And let's say over here, book, 
And then remember, all of these properties are over here. So above the return, we want to go with const, then set it equal to a book. So essentially, we are destructuring something that we covered already before. And we want to go with image, then title and author. And yes, I know that those properties are in there. So as far as the return, since I know that I need to pass them as props, what do we need to do? We just go here, image is equal to image, title is equal to title, and hopefully you see where I'm going with this. One by one, essentially, I just pass them in. And as a result, you'll see this cool setup, where again, we have structure in one place. We have a structure for the book component. And essentially, we just iterate over some data, some list, we pull out the properties out of the object. And then for every item, we return this component. And essentially, we get this awesome setup, where now all our logic is here. And in order to render stuff on a screen, we simply need to iterate over and for every item, we just need to return the component.